Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Metal video. So in this video we are going to go through the Android Saga SBR. Well, the Androids SBR. I shouldn't say the Android Saga SBR because you can use any Androids in this SBR. So the team that we're going with, uh, we're going to take a friend Android 13. We're going to use arguably the worst Android lead, uh, Android 21. Uh, mainly because, unfortunately, the first form cell is only a artificial life forms lead. Uh, hopefully one day when we get a new androids lead, or maybe when the agility androids from the friend summon get an easy A, we'll get a nice free-to-play option of a friend of a android lead. Um, but yeah, so we're going to run the android 13. Uh, we're going to run a whole bunch of free-to-play cards alongside all of them. We've got the Android uh, 14 and 15 support card. We've got Android 17 future, Android 18 future. Uh, we have the first form cell. We have the Android 21, who is our non-free-to-play lead card. Uh, and then we have the Android 18 support card from the Bubba Shop. So just overall um, with this team, Basically, the idea is that you're going to link the Android 14 and 15 with the Android 13, uh, and then that's going to be your one rotation, uh, and then you're going to have Android 21, first form cell, kind of floating, and you're going to have Android 17 and 18 linking up in the other rotation. Uh, you really need to link up the Android 17 and 18 future quite early on, uh, because they gain it. 70% attack and defense at the start of turn, but they also gain another additional attack and defense of 70% when they are both in rotation together, or well, at least when you have a Android future, you know, like Android 17 future with a Android 18 future. So you could use other options that have the same name, but obviously if you're not, you can use both, but you just need to make sure that they meet their requirements. Android 18 gains a medium chance to dodge, and Android 17 has a medium chance to crit. Uh, but that's obviously, you know, something that they're just going to keep inside with them. Uh, that means we're going to more or less put Android 18 to tank up front first, uh, just in the event of any super attacks. Uh, and they both stack attack and defense on their supers. So they'll be an okay defensive rotation for us in the second rotation, but they're not going to be super solid uh, offensively really during this entire easy A. Uh, I mean this entire SBR easy A. Uh, then Android 13 and Android 14 and 15 are going to be linked together. So Android 14 and 15 once they're linked with Android 13 they give us the super uh, overpowered ability of being able to see when enemies super attack and that's really going to obviously help us decide where we're going to limit damage, when we're going to use items and things like that. Um, once the, they also gain an additional attack, very similarly to Android 17 and 18. They gain additional attack and defense when they're on rotation with the Android 13. Uh, and then if they're on rotation with the fused Android 13, uh, they provide support and gain damage reduction. So overall, they're going to pair really nicely with this Android 13. Uh, he himself will be fine. Uh, it's the friend one, but he's really solid. Uh, he's got attack and defense of 100%. He also has a support passive for androids uh, and he stuns and lowers attack on a super attack. So he's perfectly fine. Uh, then we've got Android 21 who's 90% attack and defense with a 20% reduction of attack and defense whoever she hits. Uh, plus she obviously restores 10% health whenever she super attacks. And similarly with uh, the first form cell, uh, he, he gains health back on his 12 key um, he will at lower attack and defense on his 18 key. He has decent starting stats of defense, 20,000, 30,000. Uh, he also uh, gets a critical hit whenever he's attacking a unit in attack down status. Uh, and because we have Android 13, Androids 14 and 15, Android 21 and himself, he should be able to proc that relatively often enough. Plus the Android 18 support that we have. Uh, provides key uh, and a decent 30-ish percent boost to Android Saga, or Android's units, I should say. Uh, so, at this point, we're looking pretty good. And yeah, um, beyond that, uh, the teams we've got pretty decent synergy. Uh, in terms of Android teams, you have a lot of options for units. You have uh, the Intel, 
you have the physical cell, you have the cell juniors, you have a uh, strength cell, you have int EZA cell, tech EZA cell, um, you have the second form support tech cell, uh, so you could go for like a full on cell lineup. You have a whole bunch of other Android 17s and 18s uh, that don't even have to go into, there's tons of them. Uh, you could also build uh, into the LR, Android 17, 18 and 16. There's the, uh, you know, MVP 17 and that whole Universe 7 kind of Android phase as well. Uh, and then we've still got yeah, all the movie Androids, we've got the 13. Uh, we've got the two fused 13s, the Int and the Tech one, who are okay. Uh, they're not bad, they're not good, they're kind of just, they're okay, they could do this SBR, this this first one. Um, and then you've obviously got this lead Android 13, uh, you've got the strength Android 13 who's uh, mainly good against Goku units, but I mean, he is there, he is an option. Um, and yeah, uh, you've got quite a few options, so overall, uh, oh, and uh, we need a new Android 21 however. Uh, hopefully a base form one that transforms or something like that um, would be nice, but yeah, uh, just a couple more uh, Androids would be okay. I think once the Android, like I say, once the Android friend lead gets an EZA, uh, that'll help. This Android 18 is getting an EZA at a later stage. Um, so yeah, I think, I think overall uh, the Android saga is currently very healthy. I think it's actually a very strong team, uh, there's a lot of good options. I think what they do need, um, or the Android team, what the Android team does need, is mainly like for its segmented components, like Android 13 needs a couple better linkers for him, uh, he really only links well with Android 13 and Android 14 and 15 units. Uh, so he needs a bit more of a build around around him, maybe an Android 18 and 19 friend support who supports Android category uh, or Androids or, you know, the Cell Saga category. Um, I think, yeah, an Android 18 solo card would be good. Uh, Android 19 solo card could be pretty good. Um, Android 16's got some okay cards, but definitely could do with either a standalone LR uh, or maybe a, a standalone card uh, for sure. Another one, um, especially an AGL super top one, please. Uh, but no, yeah, like you really can run uh, quite a few units, but they just need a couple more to create synergy within their own lineups. Um, but yeah, the Android, so the Android like category is pretty reliable uh, and that was the transformation for android 13 when he transforms by the way he's attack and defense 130 percent and then he gains attack and defense of 13 percent uh, for every single goku target category person on the team unfortunately we only have two or three of them uh the android future androids don't count for some weird reason they're not on the category um and then the the Android 21 is not on the category as well, uh, which is a bit strange. But yeah, so we're not going to get the biggest boost for him when he transforms, but he'll still be doing some pretty good attack stats, which is going to be pretty awesome. And on any Android team that he's on, there should always be some target Goku category enemies, which means he should always be getting at least some bonus to his passive there. So that's pretty good. Um... In the first round, obviously, you I didn't go through the strategy too much, but basically what you kind of want to do with this team is you really want to try and kind of pop an item early on uh, so that you can let the team get into its rotations without taking too much damage. Uh, you want to let the Android 17 and 18 future kind of get a couple attacks off the stack. Uh, you want to get some of the, maybe the attack lowering to go, maybe a stun from Android 13. Uh, you want the cell to kind of get like uh, 18 key off to try and reduce their attack and defense. Um, yeah, so you basically just want to pop an item early on, like an Icarus or a Whis, uh, and then you basically just let those first two or three turns go. Uh, by then you should be set up enough that you shouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, the Android 17, the 18 future after about four or five turns will have stacked up enough 
that they really aren't under too much threat uh, in this stage. I will say this stage, the last stage is pretty rough, but I will say in general this stage was quite fair. Um, it's quite well designed for this team. I mean, the balance is pretty well done for this kind of free-to-play team. Obviously, with link updates and that, a full Android team would probably decimate this event. But yeah, I think, you know, this team is well suited to take this out, especially with the ability to see super attacks. Uh, you have a lot of control over what's going on. So that's why you don't have as much risk as most SBRs, because you're able to see what's going on. You can pop items when and where you need. Uh, when you can see you're either A, not going to be able to avoid damage, or B, not be able to do this. Uh, the only thing I suggest you don't do is please do not separate uh, the Android 17 future and 18 future because that's just going to remove their passive basically and that additional attack and defense and that evasion and that additional attack to help 17 stack and the critical hit and everything that's really going to be necessary uh, for them to be viable as a duo in this if you don't want to use them, uh, there are plenty great Android options, literally anything is better than them. Uh, so, well not anything, but I mean, yeah, there's tons of great options that are better than them. Uh, so don't really worry too much uh, about taking them, but yeah, if you want to use these free-to-play options, uh, you're going to need to ramble them, you're going to need to keep them in a rotation together. Uh, you will have to use items uh, when they are first up because they just don't have the stats to maintain that kind of run. But after that you should be perfectly fine. Uh, and then in the second fight we really want to try and focus down on the Rildo. Uh, the main reason being is he can obviously take out the 14 and 15 uh, which is you know a bit of a problem. But also he just attacks slightly more, at least he does appear to me. Uh, so generally I focus down Rildo. Uh, and I don't really have any in types in this team build, so I generally then try to focus down on the tech unit. Uh, I know the tech unit technically has advantage against the Android 13, but if you take a 100% friend Android 13 lead, he should be perfectly fine uh, to cope with all the damage and anything like that. Uh, especially after you build a couple stacks of attack and defense lowering, uh, he will be more than fun uh, to take on things and then he gets the stun there as well. Uh, the Android 14 and 15 I suggest always using them to target the tech unit uh, just to lower his attack uh, as an option uh, while Android 13 is working on the real though. Then when Android 13 transforms uh, he'll be doing some bigger damage and that'll help take out the tech one a little bit faster. Uh, this Android 18 is solid. She does have low stats but she'll be floating so she shouldn't be too much of a problem. And her, just make her basically attack uh, whoever is attacking her the most in her slot uh, and so that she can apply the attack lowering to them. Uh, as you can see those two androids are now sitting at around about 130k defense uh, which is really solid. Uh, once they attack they're also going to go up again so we're not too concerned about them. Uh, they're going to do a really solid job defensively. Offensively is another story. They're not going to be the most grand units to use offensively but they will manage uh, so they say offensively they're not gonna apply much damage but the crits from Android 17 can be somewhat helpful um, and if you build them into full additional to assist with their stacking I mean they will eventually uh, assist you a little bit um, I wouldn't suggest placing too much gear on these guys uh, the free-to-play units you could just probably put life gear on just to give yourself a little bit more health to play with. Uh, if you stick life gear on all of them, hey, you're probably looking at like an extra 10 or 20,000 health. Uh, so at least you will have a little bit more of a buffer. Uh, but yeah, there's no like necessarily distinctly effective builds uh, for the free to play units. Just follow the generically decent free to play builds for their kind of uh, construction. Uh, I generally went additional on most of them. Uh, additional on the two stacking units, I just like it that way. I went for additional on the 14 and 15 uh, because of the attack lowering. Uh, and then I went for additional on the Android 21 because of the heal. Uh, and then I went additional on the cell because of the heal. So yeah, I clearly favored additional. I'm not entirely certain if it's the correct way to do things. 
Uh, but I don't re I'm not too bothered uh, because it worked and it worked very eff effectively here. Um, and as you can see, we're going to be perfectly fine. Uh, also, just uh, in advance, try and grab as many same type orbs as you can for this team. Uh, as their defenses build, they're going to be helping to heal you a little bit more and more and more each turn. And that's really just going to help you save up on some items. And just in general, uh, when you're doing content, you really should be aiming for same type orbs. Uh, if you can, unless you are trying to either A, delay a Durkan attack, uh, or B, obviously the orbs may fall differently to assist another unit that maybe needs orbs more, uh, or needs a certain type of orbs. Like, there's no point in taking uh, three agility orbs with your AGL unit to heal an extra couple thousand health, when those orbs may allow... Um, your Broly, Chi-Li, and Lemo allow to provide a kind of attack buff that you need or a defensive buff for example or anything like that. So just remember to keep that in mind uh, when you are doing content. And yeah, um, so in this fight here, very similarly we're going to focus the Rildo. Uh, I just don't like Rildo. Uh, he's evil and he looks at me funny. Uh, so we're going to try our best uh, to take out the Rildo as much as possible. Um, and then we'll probably focus on the Dr. Mui, I think his name is. And then we'll leave the baby for last. Um, and that will generally be our, uh, like, strategy for this farm around here. Uh, thankfully, the Android 13 not only uh, double supers, but he gets the stun off as well. Um, which is really great. When he gets that stun off, it's really super helpful. He's done a lot of damage already, so that's really great. See how much damage he takes here, so not a lot either. Um, so yeah, perfectly fine. Really uh, quite happy with that. Uh, obviously the reason we're leaving Baby for last is Int. He only really has type advantage against the Android 17. Uh, whereas the AGL uh, Dr. Miri has type advantage against the Android 18 and the Android 21. Um, and then obviously the strength Rildo doesn't really have a big advantage, but again, I just don't like Rildo. I don't like the Rildo units, maybe it's because the times I used to try when I first started SPR, they gave me the most problems, but yeah, I just historically don't like them, have a problem with them, so yeah. But always remember that in terms of priority in the SPR, you generally want to take out either A, the unit attacking the most, uh, for example, in like a Turles and Gang situation, Turles generally attacks the most. Uh, or B, you want to take out the units that have the biggest type advantage against you. Uh, there's no point leaving a int unit up if you have like four tech units on your team. You want to try and limit that unit as much as possible. So either attack them to get rid of them or uh, place your utility on them to control them while your units clear out the other units and then you can return back to them. That's yeah, generally how I look at things with SBR. Um, but yeah, we're not going to have too many problems here in this final stage. Uh, everything's gone pretty smoothly so far. The Android 17 and 18 future combo uh, has done relatively well. Uh, and we're getting quite lucky with Android 13 taking the majority of the super attacks after we have applied uh, some kind of item. So generally that's been uh, a good, good occurrence. And hopefully we can get rid of this Rildo uh, eventually. And then we'll be left with the two units that we can focus on. Uh, we switched the Android 14 and 15 to attack the baby. Uh, just so that we can get some instances of attack lowering uh, going. As you can see there, Rildo did a lot of damage. Uh, and they're going to take even more damage now. Uh, luckily we had an item active. Uh, had we had fused Android uh, 13, we would have had an additional 30% reduction there, uh, so they wouldn't have taken so much damage. And Rildo was a type disadvantage super, uh, so right now I'm really not too bothered uh, with what's going on. Um, we're quite well off in terms of control of the fight. I'm going to just save the uh, Princess Snake uh, for a turn where we don't have damage reduction, because uh, we still have the Icarus active. Uh, generally, that's why I bring Sensu Beans in that, uh, or, a, or a different kind of heal, like an Android 8 or something. Uh, just because you don't want to, obviously, stack your defense reduction 
every single turn because things like a uh, princess snake can really help for those turns where you don't have a necrus active but you want to kind of heal but also uh, reduce the amount of damage you take so yeah you just want to keep that in mind but i mean once a couple turns go by your defense is stacked enough uh, android 13 will transform android 21 may even transform uh, the you know attack lowering that will really kick in quite high uh, so yeah uh, you really shouldn't have too many problems and there's that evasion coming in perfectly from uh, the android 18 uh, so yeah you really won't have too many problems uh, like I say you, you're gonna be perfectly fine uh, cells gonna heal you as well uh, that double super attack there healing us up quite a bit uh, speak of the devil android 21 transforming and Android 13 is also going to transform this turn. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, uh, you know, as the fight goes on, this team does only get stronger from the stacking, the attack lowering, uh, the transformations. Uh, so yeah, uh, the fight, like, I'm not going to say benefits going longer, because uh, obviously it's SBR, you know, you don't want to catch too many super attacks in that. But the first rounds, the first three turns are definitely... Uh, a lot harder for you than the like last two turns of a five turn average fight um, and I think just keeping that in mind is obviously going to be quite important uh, you can see I'm shifting the uh, Android uh, 21 into rotation uh, that's just because I just wanted to kind of leave her on for a bit because she's been floating a bit uh, but generally you should just leave the Android 14 and 15 on rotation uh, they gain a whole bunch of buffs, obviously, from being with the Fuse 13. Uh, so it is better to just leave them there. But it's really no problem. Uh, we just switched it up for a bit of flavor. Uh, but yeah, take my advice. Leave the Android 14 and 15 on rotation with them. Uh, it'll be perfectly fine. But either way, we don't lose our ability to force the super attacks. Uh, so that's always going to come in handy. Uh, and their Android 13 just did a tremendous amount of damage, uh, which is great. And then Android 21 will follow it up with a decent attack. Uh, we need a new Android 21. I think she's really cool and I'd like a crossover event with fighters. Um, we also just recently got some upgrades to the crossover categories and things like that. So I think an Android 21 update would be really nice. Uh, they did some work with her on DB Legends as well. So I think, yeah, just getting some new Android 21 stuff would be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, we can see here just uh, what's going on with this entire rotation I'll wash off the Android 17 uh, in and then we'll just kinda let things progress naturally uh, we can see super attacks so we know exactly who we're lining up to take what uh, and hopefully uh, we do have the stun on the Dr. Mui uh, but yeah we're gonna hopefully be able to just shout some decent damage uh, and maybe obviously get well, we're not going to be able to kill the baby, unfortunately, because we don't have uh, the damage from these two. Uh, as you know, as you've probably seen, their damage is not the best, uh, but it's okay. So, we're getting near the end now, fortunately. Uh, obviously, the problem with the team is, or with some of these SPRs, when one rotation is just not doing damage, these stages can take a bit longer. Uh, than most people will than most uh, obviously things just take a little bit longer because you just not you basically fighting half the time offensively and most of the time defensively uh, but that's generally what happens when you build these kind of safe free to play teams uh, you lack damage most of the time a lot of the time free to play cards are decent in terms of utility and defense uh, but they can really lack out when it comes to offense. It's partly due to the stats. It's also due to design. Uh, attack numbers being the showiest part of the game. Uh, are generally reserved for the cards that are, um, you know, actually uh, summonable. Because that's incentive to summon. So, but yeah, uh, this team did really well. Uh, and I'm quite happy with this team. I'm quite happy with the run. Uh, so I think if you have these units, if you run this team, uh, you'll have great success. Uh, if you were to drop any units out, definitely the Android 17 and 18 future. Uh, they're fine offensively, but I mean defensively, but not great offensively. But cool, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. But until next time, stay safe, I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you soon.
Cheers and bye.